So we know wings help them fly. But how do they work? Let's take a look at the cross-section view of a wing, also known as an airfoil. The secret lies in pressure difference between the top of the wing and the bottom. When air strikes the leading edge, it adheres to the wing surfaces. The upper surface is longer and curved, meaning the air that strikes it naturally has to speed up to surpass this obstacle in this way. The bottom side is flatter, therefore the wind flow doesn't really accelerate much as it's more undisturbed. Oh, we have faster flow at the top, slower at the bottom. According to Bernoulli's principle, if a fluid speed increases, pressure proportionally decreases. And in our world, fluids... Yes, air is a fluid always move from high pressure to low pressure. So this pressure difference causes the high pressure at the bottom of the wing to push upwards. Which in our language we call lift. Ever wonder why some boats just hover on water? The same applies to hydrofoils. Yeah, you heard that. Hydrofoil, airfoil, air and water both fluid. So you definitely can guess the cross-sectional shape of the foil in the water. Now, if you take a look at an airfoil with a low speed configuration, we'll actually notice that it oppositely resembles the spoilers we see on cars. Airfoil is designed to create lift to keep aircraft airborne. Spoilers is designed to create downforce to keep cars grounded. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. 